Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Sometimes we feel like we're of the age where we should be married. Sometimes we feel like it's time. Our clock is running out. Well, let me share a little something with you. I can't tell you how many women I know that wish they had never gotten married because of where they find themselves now. Now I'm going to share a few, a few little tips with you. When you're checking out a man as a mate or a man is you're checking out a woman for a mate, a lifelong companion, you're looking for a wife. There are things you have to kind of go down your little checkoff list. Some things you know that you know you cannot tolerate. You cannot live with. You can't put up with it. No way. No way. No matter how well built that bundle is over there, you have to consider other things besides look. Besides hair, makeup, clothes, and walk, you have to look at a whole lot more. Can they handle their business? All their bills being paid? Do they have class? Do they have integrity? Would they embarrass you in another type of a crowd? Hmm. Think about all of that. Because see what happens is, and this is why I believe some marriages end up being abusive puddles of mess. It's because the man settled rather than waited. And some of you men, you know who you are. You keep your hands off of those women. That's your mistake. You live with it. That's your responsibility, not all her fault. Ask God for a new level of love, like God loves you in spite of your mess. Now, but the bottom line is, for those of you who have not crossed that bridge yet, hold off, watch, hmm, and pray. Because there are times when Jack never jumps out the box during the dating period. But once married, and the ring is on it, all of a sudden Jack not only jumps out the box, Jack lives outside the box. And you're dealing with a completely different person than the one you married. So that's why you need to pray. So that God can show you in dreams, God can show you in relationships between that person and their family, friends, whatever, and you get to see the ugly side that you never get messed with, but you get to see how they treat the other ones. And you see the little Jack Jr. popping out the box. Gives you a little preview. Magnify that bad boy by 50 times and that's what you will end up living with if you marry. Keep your eyes wide open. Keep your pants zipped up and use your brain. Please. And those of you women who are so desperate and so hard up for a man, a piece of man, any kind of man, you better watch it. Because you could die from multiple complications of internal bleeding and broken bones and a head that's been banged up against the wall one too many times. You marry the wrong one, baby. You have help right here on earth. Excuse me. You know, so many people have to think not only twice, but 10 times before you consider getting married. I'm, I'm telling you from a person who had a very successful marriage in spite of all the physical challenges that entered in. The personality blend, the spiritual blend, 
the intellectual blend, the sense of humor, the seduction, all of it, the romance, the comical side, everything was a good blend and a good fit. But guess what? I was ready to never see that man again in life if God said no. Are you ready to give up on what God says no to? Because trust me, if God says no, you better not. And it won't be God judging you if you do. It'll be you reaping the consequence of disobedience. God knows everything. He even knows you better than you know yourself. So you know he knows the other person better than you do. You better listen if God says no. Now, I don't know who this is for, but somebody is getting ready to make a big boo-boo. It's, listen, a marriage out of season is just as bad as a marriage to the wrong person. But if you wait until God says yes, and you get all the right signals from God, not there, from God, it will be right. I can tell you right now, if I had married Milton before God said yes, it would have been a mess because I know I wasn't ready. God had to do a work in me first. There are some internal workings that God has to do between the two individuals before he can bring them together and make them one. And if both parties are not participating, cooperating, working with God in their healing process, in their renewal process, guess what? That's going to be an imbalanced marriage, unbalanced, whatever the word is. Out of kilter. Anyway, that's something to think about. For this, I just feel like there's some folks thinking about getting married because I keep coming around back to it. Think again. Think twice. Pray thrice. Please. God bless you as you decide.